built it and I'm very happy with it. It's obviously not finished. I've got a lot more glass to put in, but I'm going to make it a lot taller as well. I might try and stick a water wheel or three on the side of it. That is a job well done, I feel. Hello and welcome to GMS Adventures and we are back in Enigmatica 2 and I zoomed in dramatically because that's what I do. But at the end of last episode, I said we are going to focus on the whole farming thing. See if we can get some automated procedures. The very first automated things in the game, maybe, possibly, I don't know. We're going to give it a go at least. Now, I have been playing around with the tree thing. Now, I said that this block here needs to be in front of, like, a tree in order for it to gather the, like, liquid uh, latex. There you go. We can see that. I've already been doing that. And it turns out doesn't need power, doesn't need a tree, just needs to be placed down and some wood in front of its teeth. And it just gathers the latex all by itself which is really really useful it's quite a slow process I don't really know of any way to speed it up either which is a little bit annoying um, there's probably some sort of things I can put in it maybe to make it go faster I don't know but um, it works that's the long and short of it and then I put that liquid latex stuff into the latex processing unit along with some water and it makes tiny dry rubber which I can craft into small dry rubber which I can then cook into uh, plastic I believe so I've been doing that a little bit I've made some things with it I've also made this very cool looking reservoir it's a little bit strange like I thought I could like book it out of water and then just pour it on the floor uh, But I can't I can change its mode like I can turn that light on green and then turn it off again But I do not know the difference between the modes. It doesn't seem to be much difference in terms of functionality It just it just works like this and then I can use it in machines or uh, any other kind of like, sort of like tanks I suppose basically yeah, look at that. I'll show you that in a second um, so if I just squirt all this water into here manually um, I can actually just open it up and see the water's in there, the latex is in here, and it's producing that stuff there one at a time. The water goes down very, very fast, the latex goes down very, very slowly, so do it that way you will. But if I take out all the latex from here, I've got, what is that, 5,000 millibuckets in there, so 5 buckets basically, and I can bosh all that back straight into there, and you can see now, that's full, and this is empty again, so it's, it, yeah, it's a whole thing, but it does work, it's just a little bit, bit of a pain. Ideally, I'd pipe in the water into them automatically. So I'd have a big old tank of water, like a huge reservoir of water, which I would then pipe it in automatically. But I haven't got that far yet. I haven't managed to really properly automate that. I haven't managed to get a proper pump going yet either, to be honest. But, you know, it is what it is. Let's just make sure this is full of water, which it is. And that's now going to do its thing until that runs out. Yeah, look at that. It takes a whole bucket of water for every single one rubber. So it's... Yeah, it's not the fastest of things to do, but it works anyway, it works. Anyway, just on a side note, I do have a pump in here actually. I think I've got the mechanism one from I made ages ago, which I've never used, because that does remove source blocks. It doesn't just keep pumping infinitely, it does remove the source. So I need a huge lake to put that over there really and fill up a tank with. But anyway, you've probably noticed this giant stack of sand in the middle of here. I've made that much, much taller. And you can see that I made that taller by making some glass automatically right here. So it is just pouring out here over and over and over again repeatedly with this redstone clock. Uh, and you can see that there's a whole buttload of liquid glass in there, 124 blocks worth of it still to come out. That goes into a hopper underneath it. And if I go underneath, I can show you. Um, yeah, it's plenty. I've taken a lot out of this since I'll show you where I put it shortly. But yes, I, I've used loads and it's it's definitely still ticking along very nicely. I also said we're going to do some openings of boxes. So I cashed in every single reward that I could find. And this is what we're going to work with today. So we're going to start off opening all of these bad boys up to see what goodies we might actually get out of it. And honestly, I have no idea. The coolest things I've seen so far that were just rewards was this thing right here. Uh, no, not that one. What's that? That's a crescent hammer. That, that's less interesting. This thing. Here we go. An unbreakable wand. So I think this is like a, a builder's wand. Yeah, it is. So I, it shouldn't break, hence the name. So I should be able to like completely, constantly just build with it and, and make huge structures with it and stuff. So it should be very cool. But anyway, I'll put that back for now and we'll come back to that at some point in the future. Maybe. What's that? Steel casing. I didn't know I got that one. What's this? A multimeter. I got a red print. Uh, some basic control circuits. Some enriched alloys. Uh, some basic mechanical pipes, uh, some basic universal cables, uh, and some glowstone. So there you go. But these are the money maker. Aren't they? This is the, the main the main event right here. These loot chests. This is what we get inside these bad boys. Uh, come throw. I've got, see that would have been cool, but I've already got one of those, so less excited now. But then I'm going to face it over here because the lag going that way is a little bit more intense. You'll see why very shortly. But over this way, it's not so bad. <laughs> uh, inside this, we've got a tape measure again, quite cool at some point. Blueberry pancakes. I'm definitely going to eat those very shortly. Uh, angel blocks, also very cool. Uh, fish dinner, very nice. An ender offset wand. What does this do? I. I don't know. It's from Chisel. I don't know what it does. I can't activate it. Hmm. 
Okay, I might look into that shortly, but there you go. These foods, though, I'm going to eat these things. I can't even know, because if I eat 16 different things, I get another heart. You can see that I'm, like, one heart away from going over maximum now. And I'm pretty sure earlier today, I played a bit of it off-camera, obviously. Uh, earlier today, I did actually go past all the originals, and then one yellow one, too. But I don't know how that happened or why it isn't doing it now, so I'm just going to pretend it didn't. But it definitely did. Anyway, let's grab some more of these bad boys and see what else we get out of these loot boxes. Let's grab them all now. Screw it. Probably going to fill up my inventory, but... Oh my god. There we go. We'll see. Okay, so sausage and bread. More food to get my health up. Blue prank is... Oh, that's a shame. What duplicate now? Compact cobblestone generator. Produces 64 cobblestone constantly. Interesting. I wonder if it needs power. Probably does, right? It does need power. It's FE, whatever that is. Hmm. Okay, there you go. Uh, we've got some spruce planks that are scaffolded. Okay, we've got some mana steel ingots. Oh, I've got so many loot chests. Uh, another unbreakable one. That's less exciting now. I've already got one of them. Uh, some bookshelves. Okay. Oh, there we go. Reinforced conversion kit. Fully upgrades a block to a given tier. Okay, that sounds like it could come in handy, actually. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, a robot. Okay, I've never used one of them, but I've seen them before, and I'm very excited to use that when I get to that point. Another cobblestone generator. Okay. Um, a speed upgrade from mechanism to motor open. A rainbow oak sapling. That's cool. That's very cool. I like those a lot. Uh, and then finally, some wind generators. Hell yeah. Well, that's good. Actually, that's probably the best one of the lot. Actually, the most useful, at least. That's very nice. Okay, can I put them down upstairs somewhere? I might have to uh, see if I can put them higher up. Wait, is there a zombie nearby? Is he downstairs? Is he, is he through the glass? Through the looking glass? Yes, he's out there with the creeper. That's a shame. All right, fine. Um, yeah, I wonder if I, if I raise this up a little bit. Do you reckon I can get him wired in? Possibly, right? Possibly? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going I'm to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay, let's get some wood out. Let's trip on it there. Powered at the front, is that? That's annoying. But it is generating power, so that's good. Okay. And then I guess the same over that way. Oh, bloody hell. She's the um, scaffolding, shouldn't it, really? That'd be better use of it rather than the planks. Oh, the logs, even. Okay, let's put this bad boy down there. That's also working. Very nice. Uh, and then I'll break these down and we'll wire them in if I can. Still haven't got an axe yet. Not a proper one. So that's a, an investment I need to make, really. But that's for another time, probably. But okay, so they are making power. They're just not wired in. I wonder if it's... Is it worth wiring them in? Probably is. Maybe not here. Maybe it's worth having them on the other side. I'll leave them there for now, just being all noisy and stuff. But I reckon they could probably be more used over the far side. But... I don't know, we'll see what happens. Maybe when I've got a better setup going on, I can add them to the system. Right now, I think my water mills are doing okay. They, they're still looking all swish over there. So we'll, uh, we'll leave them for now, but there's a mess of monsters up there for the moment. So we're gonna go to bed and we'll take a quick look at the animal farm currently. Okay, good morning. So, uh, as you may know, there is a block that I was looking at which uh, breeds animals together. So I made that and thought I'd test it out by banging it over here next to the cows. And needless to say, I didn't really need to test it. Oh god, what are you doing? Please die. Thank you. Yeah, I, I didn't really need to test it because I plugged it in and now it's hammering my FPS like crazy. I got like 30 FPS here. There's a bajillion cows. This thing, it works. It definitely works. It uh, uses a lot of wheat very quickly. I've got two left now. Um, but it definitely... Jesus Christ, that's a lot of cows. Definitely works. So, uh, I'm going to have to move a lot of cows over there. But it's definitely not sustainable. So I'm going to have to kill a bunch of... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, what? This is this is bad news. Oh Jesus Christ, the chickens! No! Oh my God, this is mayhem. You, oh the chickens, the chickens. Okay, uh, let's just get that scaffolding. Okay, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Let's just block these guys in. Stop those escaping. All oh, right, that. Yeah, that could have been better. Really, it wasn't the cows. I mean, I'd rather the chickens than the cows because the chickens are easy to replace. The cows. Well, I mean, to be fair, I've got enough cows to not bother replacing them, but if they got out, that'd be a real nightmare, because that's a situation, isn't it? Let's be honest. That's a, that's like a freaking plague of cows that will just keep out. Oh my god, okay, but at least this is now out of wheat. It is not doing it anymore. It's, it's, that's, that's the maximum we're going to get for now, but that's a lot of cows. So it works. So I'm going to have to kill a bunch of those before we move them over there, but essentially what we want to try and work towards is at the very least, come on, spider, go away, thank you. At the very least, having one floor here producing uh, planting, harvesting, and replanting wheat, and another floor producing, harvesting, and hopefully breeding cows. So I've got this all grassy now. Oh, didn't realize it finished. Okay, good. So that's what this awful um, staircase out here is for. I've uh, I've brought grass up. 
and I'll probably leave that there for now to bring it to the next level too. So there's grass on here so for, for animals, you know, and then here for, for, for plants and things. Now initially I wanted to have each of these 3x3 three three grids be a different fruit or veg or whatever, um, and then I'd harvest them by having the machine underneath it, but I don't think that's really the best idea anymore. I think I've changed my mind a bit on that. I think I'm going to do the same concept and have the plant underneath it, but I think I'm going to just do one floor for wheat, maybe. Maybe I'll... Oh, I don't know. See, I don't know. I'm not sure how the block works. Let me go show the block. So I have created the the planter, I think it's called. But I'm, I think it does a 9x9 nine nine grid. I don't think it does just a small section. So, okay, these cows are doing my head and my frame rate is dropping like crazy. I'm going to have to do a bit of a purge here. Come on, guys. It's time. It's time to get some leather. Okay. Oh, wow. This is... This is the big cow massacre of 2019. Here it goes. Oh, I'm... I feel a bit bad, but... <laughs> it kind of had to, really, didn't I? They're, they're, they're a, oh, wow, I should have had better energy space here, shouldn't I, too? Let's put this junk that I just got into there. Okay, that'll do it, and I can get back to the slaughtering. <laughs> okay, well, that's thinned the herd a little bit, or somewhat, at least. It's, it's, I can see the floor now, which is always a good start, and I have obtained from that uh, a stack and a half of beef and 53 leather as well, so, yeah, it's, I've, I've certainly purged the landscape a little bit there, too, and got some solidified experience from it as well, so that's nice, but, oh, oh, the sound from here is so much quieter than it was. There was mayhem over there. Anyway, let me go downstairs and place this good things in storage. I'll be back with you in just one second. Okay, quick snack now on some sausage in bread, which, wow, that filled me up very far, actually. Oh, my God, I thought I'd get a few more food than that, but... Uh, didn't even eat some pancakes. Okay, never mind. Whatever. We're full on hunger now, and that was another one of my items, so that's good. Right, so let's get on to the next stage of this. So, if we're going to be having the monsters, or the mobs, the, the cows, as they're called, the monsters out there, uh, be duplicated, we need a way to breed them and a way to harvest them. Now, I think up here is where I've been putting all the machines that I'm not using just yet, uh, but I'm not at the wrong chest. Where have I put them? Bloody hell. I've lost all my things. Maybe it was down here, actually. It might have been in one of these chests. Have a look in here. Nope, not that one either. Okay. I've actually lost the things that I wanted. I've made some stuff which is going to be useful, but I don't know where I've put it. Oh, here we go. Okay, the plant sower, which is the basically what I hope was going to produce all the wheat for us. It does take a range add on tier 11, but I, I don't know what the default range is. And I've made a machine block and a crusher, but I don't think either of those things are important for today. I think they're just for more quests and things are further down the line. And these are just gubbins that I've got from other quests or for other quests in the future. But I thought I made more than that. Let me just check the quest book now. If I check back to here, I have made a plant sower and I've made an animal feeder. Okay, so the feeder's out there, the plant sower is there. I've got to make a plant gatherer and either I make the mob slaughter factory or I make the mob crusher and then the duplicator afterwards. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to go the crusher direction of it. So just to summarize, if you're not familiar, the, my understanding of it at least is that the mob slaughter factory will kill the animals and produce pink slime. Which you can use pink slime to then make more pink slime. But it'll produce like like a, a sludge basically, which the sludge becomes pink slime for other quests in the future, or one other quest really, but it's for more components. Whereas the mob crusher will kill animals and make a green sort of liquid, which they can then pipe into a mob duplicator and duplicate whatever mob I've put in the imprisonment tool of the safari net for those retro people like myself. So if we've got one of those, basically if I caught a cow in this and put it inside the mob duplicator then that would then spawn more cows when I supply it, the duplicator with the liquid that I've got from the crusher. So as long as I'm killing something I can produce something else from the next block and I think that's probably going to be more useful in the long run. Even if I make a lot huge tank of the juice from the crusher I can then use it for things like withers maybe in the future. This is with a builder I just, that's what's making me think about it. But essentially anything as long as I can get one of it in the mob imprisonment tool, the safari net. I think that's going to be the more useful one one, rather than the pink slime, which I could do in the future anyway if I wanted to, I suppose. But in terms of actually just like mob farming, there's not much else on on the map for it. I've looked through the other other quest lines and I haven't really seen the bit that I'm looking for. There's obviously this whole forestry stuff which has um, farms there, but I've not done much of this mod yet and I, I haven't really looked into it at all. So I'll have to do that at some point, but I do have to go around bees to get to it because this one needs the circuit boards and the thing manufacturer and farms uh, and I can't get to that until I've done the impregnated casing which comes from squeezing nuts and things so it's an odd quest line and I'm not familiar with it so we'll do it eventually but not just yet and there doesn't seem to be anything like the mod that I was looking for. So the closest thing is the industrial foregoing. So this, as far as I can tell, is a reimagining of Mine Factory Reloaded. But in Mine Factory Reloaded, there was a block that would take... Well, it would basically... It would 
breed two animals together and then it would pull the baby out and put it in a different section so it would pull the baby through the block into the other half like if say if this was, if this was the breeder you'd have a fence going along this side of the side here and then there'd be uh, adult animals on this side this would breed them together and the baby would get popped through into this side where originally it would get grown up and then killed which is how it works right so you just have a few adults over here and then a few babies over here then as soon as the babies were grown up they'd get them harvested for the slime the xp the, the bits whatever they were meaning that you can have a very sustainable easily forgettable farm without having to worry about it getting out of control like the cows over there did earlier. But there isn't, I can't find anything like that in this pack at least. I think in this reimagining of it, it doesn't really have that. It's only got the animal feeder, which I've already made and you've seen what it looks like and it doesn't pull anything through like I thought it would. So it's going to be a little bit different to what I imagined it to. Same way with the plant sower, it's not quite the same as I thought it would be, but it does have um, a plant gatherer which is a separate block. So again, I don't think it was, and maybe it was in the other one, I'm not sure. But either way, I've got to make one of those today, and I've got to make one of those today, and we'll see if that's going to be actually easy to wire up or not, because I guess we're going to have to make some wires too, some cables and, and some transfer tubes, etc. So, this is where we find out if I've got the right ingredients or not. I probably haven't, but I've probably got close to it, I imagine. Uh, let's start off with the, yeah, the plant gatherer. Let's see how we craft one of those bad boys. Plant gatherer, uh, two axes, a hoe, machine case, plastic, gold gear, and stuff. So just iron... Iron, plastic, iron, iron, plastic, redstone, and gold is essentially all we need there. So I think I've got all those things quite easily to hand. So we've got lots of redstone, plenty of gold. I'll just take a couple of blocks. Plenty of iron and some plastic here. I think we've got more upstairs. And of course, we do have the, the plastic producer upstairs as well, which I can keep that ticking over as well if I keep filling up with water, which is, again, a pain in the ass, but not the end of the world. And I can't be bothered automating it just yet. So we'll cross that bridge and come to it. But I think there's some plastic still in here. There is one more sheet, which is good. Okay, I think we're all right. So all I gotta do is make some tools, the iron hoe and the iron axes, uh, and then yeah, we're happy days. So down to the basement where my sticks are kept. I was gonna use the wood, on me, the wood logs on me, but I don't need to do that because I'd rather keep them for making the uh, sludge stuff. Iron hoe, and then it's two iron axes, I'm, I think. If I got that wrong, then oh well, at least I've got a spare axe. It was though, that's easy enough to do. Then an iron casing, I can make what easily as well. These bad boys and some planks from the wood storage over here. There you go. See, I know what I'm doing. I've got a whole setup going on down here. It's not the most sort of intuitive, but it works. And then two gold gears, bish, bash, bosh. Get rid of you. And then can we now make this thing? We can indeed. That is the plant gatherer. And you know what? Whilst we're here, let's make the other one as well. The mob crusher, uh, which looks a little bit similar, actually, to books. Actually, it's very different. A simple machine chassis, which is iron and that thing and more of those stuff too. Okay, let's craft these whilst I'm here actually. Okay, but I should have the iron bars in here. Yes, and I think I've got the grains of infinity in here too. Oh, my plastic as well. Look at that, bloody hell. Where did I put the grain there? Oh, no, man, grains of infinity. There we go, that should be everything I need, I think. I think I've actually literally got it all. Uh, oh no, books, I don't have books yet. Okay, hmm. But I did get some book uh, cases as a craft reward, didn't I? Yeah, I got bookshelves, there you go. If I take one of those and break it down, break it down now, I should get, if I remember rightly, three books out of it. Do I? Oh, I do. I'm a bloody Minecraft genius. Look at this. I'm an absolute pro. And I can make this thing now mob crusher. There you go. Right. Let's have a look at the last thing here. So I didn't make it yet, but the, the mob duplicator. I've not even looked at that recipe yet. How does that work? Let's have a quick check. Duplicator. And it's okay. A little bit more intense, but not the end of the world. Uh, magma cream I don't have any of yet. Can I craft that? Only with coagulated blood or pink slime, oddly enough. That's ironic, isn't it? And blaze powder again. Not my kind of thing. I could. Oh, I can do magma blocks, though. That's not too bad, actually. I, th I reckon I can get some of that easier than I can get magma cream. Okay, well, that's it for another time, anyway. That's probably not going to be today, but we'll, we'll see, I suppose. Uh, right, let's put these bad boys down and see what they look like. And then I'll work on trying to panic about powering them a little bit. So if the plant sower goes up there, for example, I don't know what radius it's currently doing. Show working area. Okay, let's go upstairs and see if it shows me how far it is going to do. Oh, it does. One thing. One single block. That's annoying. Uh, all right, let's have a quick check then. How do I upgrade it? This side, right? Yeah, I guess it's that side. Okay, so how do I upgrade the plant sower? I guess it's these range add-ons. So the tier one range add-on would be lapis lazuli, plastic, and glass. So let's try another one. So maybe the tier two range add-on would be iron version. 
Okay, let's try making a tier 2 radio and see how much bigger that gets. Because I'd like to have it a bit bigger than that, ideally, but I'll have to make two of them if I do, because I've got to make the plant harvest. Plant gatherer, gatherer sorry, not the harvester, the gatherer. Has to be the same range as well, I guess. And then the mob crusher could do with being, I suppose, as as, <laughs> as big as it can, really. Okay, plastic from in here, which is dry a rhubarb. And then I just, I think I craft it first, don't I? Yeah, so I put it over this table and craft the, where is it? Tiny dry rubber into regular dry rubber. And then I cook that up into plastic, which I can do up here as well in this fabulous redstone furnace. Okay, so I've got six now, which I think is actually how much I needed, which is quite useful. Uh, and then I reckon if I grab some glass, mm, do I have any normal glass? I've only got the clear glass these days. I might have turned all my sand into regular glass. No, I've got some here. Okay, cool. And I'll make that into the panes, which I'm pretty sure is what it needs. It's a glass pane. Yeah, okay, fabulous. There you go, your panes, and then now, tier three, nope, tier two I want, right? Yeah, Bosch, Bosch, I'll make two of them. Oh, I'll make one for now, just in case it is garbage, actually, that's not a bad shout. Leave that there, I'll come back to it if I have to. Now, what does it look like when I put it in the machine? I'll show me the working area. Okay, so I bang you into there, which is done, nice. Now, what's the area upstairs looking like now? It's looking, oh, hella big, okay. Well, actually, it's kind of convenient it's in the corner. I might make the whole area up one. Should I move it over? Okay, yes. Yeah, so what I'll do, actually, I will... Hmm, hold on. I could have two of them here, couldn't I? Quite nicely side by side, actually. I might do that eventually. Okay, yeah, so we're going to stick with that radius, the, the tier two. That's a good one. All I've got to do is fill that with seeds, right? Right? Oh, and power, of course, but yeah, fine. Okay, but then I need the plant gatherer, which I suppose I'll put here. Is that now facing that way? It is, and it's in the middle. It will, of course, need... Uh, power as well, but I'll make sludge too. And if I can, I see your working area as well. Yes, you're doing just the one block too. So if I guess I'll make that other range upgrade the same, same, the same tier, right? That should be fine because they should grow up in the same rate, right? Logic would say that it should, but I guess we'll find out too. Just grab one of these bad boys, okay, and then plop you into there, and you are now covering the same area. Fabulous, right? Let's turn off. No, not you. Uh, this one. Turn off the working area for you, and I'll do the same for you too. Uh, actually, no, I'll leave you on there for now, because I could do with seeing where it's at. So what I'm going to do is break away all of this and make it into dirt. And then, oh, the, the thing. Oh, well, whatever. I'll get dust back anyway. Okay, I'll make it. Oh, I don't want to break you, do I? I'm going to have to redo this whole thing. It looks like garbage if I have it off center. But okay, what I'll do is I'll make this all dirt, and then I'll look into how I'm going to get power for the rest of this thing, because... I'm honestly not too sure now. I think I'll have to make some different cables, aren't I? Maybe I'll make some more of those, um, whatever they're called ones. These are the ones I'm using over there behind that mess. Maybe I'll make some more of them. I don't know, we'll see.